In this video, we are looking at this tablet, I mean capsule Fludac. So this is nothing but fluoxetine capsule and it is 20 mg fluoxetine. There are 15 capsules in this pack and costs about 65 rupees. 67 for 15 so what basically is fludac is fluoxetin so f l u o x e t i n e fluoxetin so basically this is an ssri right so it will be a antidepressant also to treat panic disorder anxiety etc so basically you can also treat obsessive compulsive disorder with this tablet. So what did I tell you it is? It is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRI. It will increase serotonin levels. So once it increases serotonin levels, it should be making you feel a little more happier. So it is also used to treat this uh, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Now let us look at what is inside this capsule. Wow, it's like some powder. This has 20 mg, okay, 20 milligram of uh, fluoxetin. I'm also going to taste it and tell you how it tastes. Ah, it's bitter. Oh my God, so strong. So where best to get information about a tablet? Yes, KD Tripathi textbook. So here you go, fluoxetin. So it is the first SSRI. Can you see here? Where is our mouse here? Yeah, it is the first SSRI to be introduced. And um, it is the longest acting SSRI also. That is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So I hope you are looking here. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It's plasma T half is two days. So it will take two days to become half of what it was originally uh, having. I mean, original whatever mass is there. To become half of that, it needs two days. Its active demethylated metabolite is 7 to 10 days. So it's that one, the T-half is 7 to 10 days. That's quite long. So that's why they're saying it's longest, I think. Okay. So you can you, it can be used in children, but only after uh, psychotherapy fails. So you can use it for treating depression and OCD, I already told you. And then um, it has some uh, adverse reactions like agitation and dermatological reactions. Okay. And its antidepressant effect also takes time. Like at least you have to use it for like two, three weeks, right? To get an effect of this, okay? Antidepressant effect. So if somebody needs rapid effect, then you will not give this. You'll have to combine it with some uh, beta blockers if I'm not wrong. And um, if there are poorly compliant patients, that means people don't take these uh, uh, tablets that you prescribe properly. For them, it is more appropriate. Now let us look at the classification where exactly is SSRI. You can see here selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So it is coming under antidepressants. So here you have uh, uh, other type of antidepressants also SNRI is there. So we are not looking at SNRI. Remember SSRI is what we are looking at. So here you have fluoxetin, the first in the list. And then what are the other names that you can know? Paroxetin, it's very similar name, right? Paroxetin, sertralin you can know. Okay, please know sertralin, at least just the names. Acetalopram, this one also gets prescribed a lot. Acetalopram, please remember acetalopram. Okay, dapoxetin also sounds like fluoxetin, so you can remember. So examples of SSRIs, you can say fluoxetin, paroxetin, dapoxetin, sertralin, acetalopram. Okay, this much is enough, I feel. Okay, the other names let's mention of fluvaxomine, flu, fluvo, fluvoxamine, citalopram, citalopram. Okay, then. 
So obviously you're curious to know how this SSRI works. So this is your brain, let us say, and this is a nerve that is releasing serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter, right? So basically this um, neurotransmitter serotonin is reuptake, reuptaken, right, by the same nerve. So you can see here, it's, there is a reuptake of the serotonin. So what happens, this SSRI goes and blocks this reuptake. So the serotonin will remain longer here in your brain. So the neurotransmitter serotonin will remain longer in your brain. So you're not going to have those crazy feelings. So serotonin is released here. It is reuptaken here. The SSRI is blocking this reuptake. So this is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So selective means it will be very specific. Looks like to serotonin, right? That is what selective means. So you should know the meaning of every letter here. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Last section, we will cover how you compare these drugs. Okay, why give fluoxetin and not something else? So they have given fluoxetin 20 mg, right? So what is it going to do? It is going to be um, plus or minus sedation can happen and uh, seizure precipitation plus or minus. Okay. So these are some comparisons that they are trying to do. What is this that these three are doing? Plus, plus, plus. They are anti-muscarinic. Okay. And this one? Cardiac arrhythmia it can cause. Okay. But just in general, look at this. Okay. This is not what you have to focus on. Focus on this. SSRIs, you can see that they don't have that much of negative effects. It means this is not much plus, plus, plus written here. But you can see TCA, so much of plus, plus, plus. They have, they cause all these things which are so annoying, right? This SSRI, what it does, it, it, it only serotonin it works on. So the effects, other effects are very less. So you can see, you can compare. SSRI is so much better. And when you come to SNRI, they also seem a little better. And then you have the atypical antidepressants, uh, which have some plus, plus, plus. We'll come to that later. But SSRI, you can see they have a kind of a clean plate according to this table. So just one more thing. What do you mean if it has anticholinergic effect? What do you mean by that? So basically, it will cause dry mouth, right? It will cause constipation, epigastric irritation, urine retention, right? And it can also cause blood vision palpitation, they are saying. So you can see that is caused by TCAs and not much by SSRIs, okay? So that's all you have to write in the exam if they ask you about SSRI. Um, that much is enough for now. So say bye-bye to this... Um tablet i mean capsule i keep saying tablet okay so this is your flu dac or fluoxetin 20 mg bye bye ssri